All right, y'all, Matt here again. This is video 27 out of 30. Three more. Um, just, just, I just got done playing uh, an old school game here, Sonic and Knuckles, for all my gamers out there. And it's funny, as I was playing this thing, as frustrating as it was, not only was I having fun, obviously, but it's one of those things where if you're a gamer, you enjoy it and you realize that no matter what gets in your way, you're going to keep going until you get truly sick of what you're doing. You're going to keep pursuing through this level. You're going to keep going through something um, to beat this one level or, or to get this one item or what happens. And I thought of that. I said, why can't people treat their businesses like that? Most people don't. They don't treat a business like a business one, but two, they're not willing to go through virtually whatever it, whatever it takes to help them get to, get them to where they want to be. And, and to really help them out with that, it's like, I realized something too, is that like, We'll, we'll do this. We'll do it. We'll, as a gamer, we will go through a, a lot of stupid shit in a in a, in a game because it's made up, to, just to get some sort of item or level level of a character or something that's that's really not going to benefit us at all in actual lives. We'll do that for a game, but we won't go through the actual steps and processes and obstacles and challenges for our business that can actually bring about real change in our life to get to where we want to be. So in a game, we'll go through hell to get something, but in life, you won't go through hell to get something. That doesn't make much sense. One's got to be treated the same as the other. So treat your business like a game. Treat it like a business, but also have fun. Make it a game. There's a book called The Game of Work, a good a good uh, book to read. I'm saying to reread again. It basically talks about numbers and how people will basically, when it comes to, when it comes to going to work, they'll be tired and lazy, but you know, come the weekend, they'll get up early, be out all day in the ski slopes, and have all this energy, but then something work, they're like, ugh. It's because it's all about keeping score. And that's something you want to do. You want to treat your game, treat your business like a game, because in game, the score is kept. You want to see how, how you want to see how you can beat yourself, how you can keep going, how you can keep going, how you can keep progressing. And if you don't have that same measurement with your business, you won't, you won't, you won't persevere. So, have fun with it. Like treat the games. Tell yourself how many ads can I put up? How many blah blahs can I do? Whatever it is, give yourself a challenge. You have to make it a game, literally, and then you'll find as you do that, you'll become more productive that way by doing a certain amount of blog posts, ads, paid advertising. Maybe you know just been networking with five people a week. Whatever the case may be, anything. Just something to treat it like to, to help you, you know, become more productive in, in the sense. That's really where you want to be too. So, just something I thought about, you know. But look, again, the book that I mentioned is the game of work. Pick it up, go buy it. It'll really give you some ideas of what you can use at your job and your business. Something. The point here is this: make a game out of whatever it is you're doing, and it becomes way more fun. You'll be way more productive, and you'll actually get. You'll be actually be one step far farther, one step closer to where you want to be. Say, so, hey, look, like, comment, share. Tell me how you feel about this stuff, baby. Peace.